My name is Luis Arzuaga and I head up the JLL Hotels and Hospitality Group Spain and Portugal. We do mostly transactions and advisory. Transactions are advising owners of hotels that want to sell their hotels from the beginning until closing the deal. And then in advisory, we have a range of services from valuations of hotels and hotel projects. And we try to have 50% of our revenue in transactions and 50% in advisory. Investing in hotels is a trend and nowadays, I think because there are very different types of investment for very different profiles of investors. You can find the very safe investors and also you have the riskier investors like the private equity, like Starwood Capital, for example, that look for very, very high returns. They accept risk, they like to add value. And also it's a very gratifying type of investment. People, groups that are in the real estate world and prefer normally to invest in hotels rather than other real estate assets like office buildings or industrial warehouses. People love hotels, people like hotels and it's a, a definitely a trend nowadays. Investment funds are the main buyers uh, nowadays. In, in 2015, they represented around 65% of the total investment volume. Hotel chains still are active, purchasing hotels, but much less than a few years ago. In 2012, they represented the 30% of the market share. Now they represent 20%. And also the high private investors and the high net worth individuals, also less than previous years. They've come down from 20% to 10% but they are still active in the hotel investment. Also some corporates and some uh, developers, but mainly investment funds. Every time we close a transaction, we celebrate it. Each um, transaction we close is different and we get very, very excited. Earlier this year, we closed the Via Magna deal in, in Madrid. It was a breaking price. It was 1.2 million per key which is a record in, in the Spanish market. We were instructed by, by the owners, a Portuguese family that really didn't need to sell. They just it, thought it was a great moment to, to sell and wanted to achieve a really high price. It was gonna be tough, but we couldn't, of course, sell it to the typical private equity firms who are looking for very high returns. So we had to look for trophy assets hunters, let's say. In, in the Middle East, in, in Asia. So finally, we, we found the, a Turkish group uh, willing to buy it. Dogus um, owns a hotel portfolio that they also manage, most of them. Uh, so they really got excited with the opportunity and we worked together with them and the sellers and uh, with the lawyers until we closed the, the deal. Hotel chains are trying to focus on their core business. Their core business is to manage hotels. Why? Because they want to grow fast and growing fast uh, through uh, capital acquisitions, through purchases is really complicated and really uh, tough. So what they are trying to do is to focus in signing management contracts and franchise contracts and maybe lease, lease contracts, but not purchasing hotels. Spanish hotel chains were more keen on, on ownership they love to own their assets, but the most sophisticated hotel chains of Spain, like Melia and NH, are following this trend of asset light strategy. The hotel chains want to be global companies. They want to have their flags everywhere in, in as many destinations and as many countries as possible. And they want to have as many brands as possible from the high end and luxury to the, to the budget. The market is going there and that's something that for sure will happen in, in Spain in the next few years because in Spain we have a very atomized uh, market where the market leaders have a very, very small market share with many individual owners and managers of hotels and we believe this is going to happen also in Spain.